So, Mr. Mike, what in the world are you making here? <laughs> this is this is my ham radio microwave here for 10 gigahertz. Can you make a pizza with it? Uh, if you get in front of it, it'll it'll make you get warm. So, oh, it's not that kind of microwave. Uh, no, a different kind. This rack actually transmits and receives signals and from where ufos uh i haven't i haven't worked any ufos yet uh i've worked i've worked a station though up in fort wayne indiana from down here yeah i bounced a signal off of a rain cloud in no Tim, and a rain cloud yeah yeah a storm uh it uh, it was about fifty thousand feet and uh there's actually programs that you can have on your computer, and it will tell you where to point your antenna for these particular storms. Wow. And people are working amazing being able to go over mountains and so forth. So what all are these little things you got These here? little things? This right here is a, a transverter. It changes the frequency. I have one little radio and this makes it take that signal from that radio and puts it out for 10 gigahertz. And this little thing right here is a, a device that makes it stay on frequency so that when I'm trying to uh, work somebody, then we're on the exact frequency. We don't have to try to chase somebody around. So is it gigahertz or gigahertz? Uh, there's no gigahertz. There are hertz, but it is a gig a gigahertz. There's actually a gig of parts <laughs> in Huntsville, and you and you can spend a lot of money at gig of parts. I, I did once. <laughs> it's wonderful. I did once. My brother Alan, I think, has spent a lot of money there. Absolutely, they're a good place. They're nice, and they have good equipment. Well, so um, what's what's the most bizarre distance you've ever communicated with this thing? Well, the station that I worked up in Fort Wayne, Indiana, that that is a uh, 528 kilometers away from here. Wow! And, Bounced off a rain cloud. Yeah, and ordinarily, this is point to point, like they use for. AT&T, they got up on the mountains, they had two dishes, and they sent the signal here to here, and they, that's what they did. But what we're doing is going up and hitting a rain cloud, and going way away, and working somebody. They're pointed at the same rain cloud. Right, because point to point, you can't go very far, right? No, because you have the curvature of the earth, you mean it's actually curved? It's not flat? This is not flat, no. Uh, no, it's not, it's not flat. Well, I guess that proves it, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's fun to do, it's hard to do. You don't always make a, make a contact when you think you would. Uh, one of the hardest contacts that I've made hard to do was going from here to work somebody in Statesville and Irma, South Carolina. Tried multiple, multiple times. And finally, we were able to find a rain cloud above Roan Mountain, because that's 6,000 feet. You go right into it. You have to get over it with your signal. And to do that, you're reflected off of this rain cloud mountain and I worked the fella in Irma, South Carolina. Wow. That was exciting. I did an Indian war dance when that happened. Well now, weren't you doing something where you were bouncing off the moon? No, I can't do that. But there are people that do that. And uh, Well, I'll check back with you. You can work on that and have that ready next time I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> well, this two meter antenna over here that's 33 feet long. People have used that to reflect off the moon. Uh, 
although I never tried it. Sounds too complicated for my uh, my taste. Well, Mr. Mike, what's your call letters? Uh, N for O F A, and it's in phonetics that's November four Oscar Fox Alpha, or N for Old Friendly Amateur, or N for Old Fart Ass. Hmm. Depending on whether you know the day and the time. Their mood or yours? Uh, both. Uh, <laughs> both. <laughs> well, thank you for sharing. Um, I guess people are just going to have to figure out what this all means. Well, it's a it's a great hobby, isn't it? Ham, ham radio. You're always trying something new. You're always learning something new. Oh. I'm not technically trained at all. I did, I painted houses for a living. And yet I'm able to do this thanks to the help of my friends and uh, a lot of encouragement. And, uh, you know, the YouTube is pretty good. To help you. Well, that's pretty high frequency. I guess you get, you get high with the little help from your friends. <laughs> Boy, without them, I wouldn't be able to do anything. Well, thank you for sharing. Uh, come back again, and uh, maybe you will get the microwave fever. Well, I done had it once. I got, <laughs> I got over it. I got better. <laughs> thank you, Mike. <laughs>